generally you will buy your patch cords ready-made. They're really much cheaper that way. But sometimes you'll find that it's absolutely necessary to make up your own custom patch cords in the, in the field. So let's learn how to do it. The plugs come uh, in two types for both solid conductors and for the uh, uh, more flexible strandy conductors that factory made patch cords use. Uh, but you can get these and they're worth keeping around that allow you to use the same solid conductor cable that you're putting in the wall to make a temporary or uh, even a permanent patch cord but one which is not going to be moved a lot or flexed a lot because the conductors will break. The method of making it is very similar. Let's uh, simply strip some jacket off. Just a small amount, about an inch, inch and a half. And now we're going to untwist almost all the way back to the jacket of the cable. And we need to straighten the conductors out a little bit more than we have for punch downs. You'll see why in a moment. Now the color coding in the termination here will be essentially the same as the uh, Category 3 jack. So we can actually follow the color coding for the Category 3 jack. And what we'll do is we will pull out our conductors, make them as smooth as possible. Get the correct color coding. I'm doing 568A. But whichever you do, just follow the correct color coding. And you'll see what I'm doing is I'm trying to get these to lay as flat as possible next to each other. Because they're going to have to go into the plug in a ribbon basically. So what I'm doing is I'm getting them to be as thin one layer as possible and in the right color code. When I've done that and I feel satisfied with it, I'll hold it to about a half an inch and I'll cut it off. Now I've got approximately a half an inch of the wires in a single row. I slip those up into the um, plug, making certain that I've got it correct. Because remember, if I simply flip the plug over, I've changed the color coding. So I work all the wires up as far as they will go into the plug. And I can look down into the plug, because they're usually clear, and check my color coding. Okay. When I'm satisfied with that, I will insert the plug into the crimp die all the way and crimp it. And there is a complete modular 8-pin plug ready to go into a um, jack. So now we've made our own patch cord.